Well, the film world descended upon Hong Kong this week for Film Art, the Hong Kong international film and television market. As China and other Asian markets continue to grow and catch up with Hollywood, this Film Art, as the largest film market in Asia, is an event that's becoming more important with each passing year. Sales agents from all around the globe, along with filmmakers, festival programmers, and government film bodies, have all been marching the busy market floor all week, trying to find or be. Become the next big thing in Asia. Busy though it is, the market is not the only thing happening in Hong Kong. As the Asian Film Awards will take place tonight, and the Hong Kong International Film Festival will run for a few more weeks. And joining the hustle and bustle this week was our very own film critic Pierce Conran, who is at the Hong Kong Film Mart himself, and he connects with us from Hong Kong to give us the lowdown on Film Mart. Hello there, Pierce. Hi there. How are you? I'm great. And now, um, before we go on any further, uh, tell us what Film Mart is. Uh, well, Film Mart is a huge event here in Hong Kong. It's uh, the HK Film Mart, which stands for the Hong Kong um, International Film and Television Market. And it's essentially an event of uh, it's an exhibition hall with many booths, and um, there's uh, many distributors are here, buyers for film, uh, journalists are marching the floor. There's just a lot of activity between. Filmmakers and producers and all the rest of it. So everyone has their their particular wares they want to sell. It's both film and television. There's also technical crews and things like that. And uh, this happens along with uh, the Hong Kong International Film Festival, the Asian Film Awards, and also a financing forum for new films. There's quite a lot going on at the same time. So basically, if you are you know part of the film world, you want to be there right now. So let me ask you, Pierce. Um, obviously, uh, you're there as a film critic, but uh, what do you do when you're there? Um, well, uh, I like many people. I have kind of a variety of roles when I'm here at Film Art. Right behind me, you'll see uh, that's the sign, the Korean Film Council, uh, which uh, which I, I write and I work for. Now, right here, I'm in the middle of the market floor. This is the pavilion of the Korean Film Council. It's kind of an umbrella. They have a lot of stuff here. Um, now I, I write for a number of uh, a number of people, and uh, so I'm kind of here, kind of gathering information. I'm also watching some film, not as so much as the festival, but they have uh, market screenings that I can go to here as press. And um, also, I'm I'm doing some other other projects. I'm working on kind of producing some films, kind of promote Korean films in general. It's a lot of things, quite busy all the time. And obviously uh, contributing to Arirang TV here. Now we are aware that Korean films and TV shows are increasingly gaining popularity across Asia. How big is the Korean presence at Film Art? Uh, well, these days it's certainly quite significant. Uh, right here, as I said, this is the the Kofix Pavilion, and there's a number of companies. There must be something like three dozen Korean companies are represented here by uh, by various uh, agents and reps. And um, there's a lot of films that are people are buzzing about. And uh, you know, like uh, Latte are here, CJ are here. They're showing big chunks of their of their summer films to buyers. Uh, I know that a lot of these companies have been doing very well and selling their 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 films quite strongly to um, not just Asian um, sales uh, sales companies, but also in Europe and North America. There's there's quite a lot of activity, and of course, because of the recent um, the recent uh, announcement of the Avengers shooting in Korea, mm. and providing that location incentive. Um, people are coming here and kind of inquiring about that for future projects of their own outside of Korea. Uh, so uh, this uh, Asian Film Awards that's happening along with the um, the Hong Kong International Film Festival. What Korean films are up for big awards there? Uh, yeah, there's a, a huge amount of Korean films are nominated this year, just showing another very strong year for the Korean film industry. And just for a little bit of background, the Asian Film Awards uh, they don't happen here; they happen actually in Macau this year. But they're all connected. There's one kind of um, umbrella organization called the Hong Kong uh, Trade Development Council, and they kind of run all these events. They're all connected, and um, so the people that will go to the Asian Film Awards are they're all here at the moment, walking the floor, and that that event will happen on um, on Friday. Now, the the big film that was nominated was of course Bong Joon Ho's Snowpiercer. Not just a hit in Korea, it's a hit with, uh, with many people around the world, except for best film, director, script, production design, and costume design. Um, the attorney is also doing very well. Um, a lot of nominations in the acting categories. Song Kang Ho, of course, for best actor. Ju um, Si Wan is going to be uh, up for best newcomer, and uh, veteran actress Kim Yong Hee is up for best supporting uh, best supporting actress. Cold Eyes also um, quite well represented. Han Hyo Ju for best actress, and uh, Jong Woo Song 
a uh, very popular Korean actor for Best Supporting Actor. And the film is also up for uh, Cinematography and Editor Awards. So um, there's, a, there's a few other things, also the face reader for costume design and Mr. Go for visual effects. Actually, if you're able to see behind me, there's an animatronic gorilla head that, that is used in Mr. Go. The, the company that did that are, of course, represented here at the pavilion. So, um, you know, obviously uh, different corners in the filmmaking process uh, that Korea has been representing is there, basically. So have any of these projects that stood out for you? Uh, yeah. Uh, now, uh, lots of have a film called uh, The Fatal Encounter, uh, previously called King's Wrath. It's the big uh, comeback of uh, the huge star, Hyunbin, you know, it's, uh, was away on his military service. Um, people, uh, buy, potential buyers, were able to watch a 20-minute promo reel of the film. So that's been, people have been interested in that. Uh, the film Sea Fog, which is represented by Fine Cut, is uh, yeah, drawing a lot of attention. It's produced by Bong Joon-ho, and that'll be coming out this summer. Um, the company Showbox has a few very interesting films, including the film A Hard Day, which is a thriller which will come out in May, and uh, Kundo, The Age of the Rampant, a big um, period epic that'll be coming out this summer. CJ Force is here as well, particularly with the film The Target, a thriller which I believe will be coming out in May, starring um, uh, Lee sung -myung. Well, you know, um, we are, you know, wishing for the best for these films. But since it is the Hong Kong international film market, does the Korean film industry have any plans to work with perhaps uh, Chinese companies? Oh, absolutely. I mean, of course, everyone wants to work with China these days. And uh, more than most of the countries, Korea is already quite well connected here. Uh, the Korean Film Council actually have an office in Beijing where they house kind of a... Uh, new Korean filmmakers and try and start these new co-productions with China, and they've there's been a decent amount of uh, success with that. And um, you know, film uh, companies like CG Entertainment are also really kind of already in on the ground there. They're they're producing films locally for China, like a wedding invitation, which is very popular. And the film Mr. Go was also co-produced um, with China. So uh, there's 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 quite a lot going on. It's been it's uh, everyone wants to get in. Kind of work together, and uh, there seems to be there's going to be um, bigger fruit, fruits further down the road from these collaborations. Well, it looks like uh, there will be another Hollywood here in Asia, amongst Asian uh, Asian countries making films. All right, uh, Pierce, thank you for joining me all the way from Hong Kong, and we hope to see you back here in the studio next Friday. Absolutely, I'll be looking forward to it.